Well, here it is, Friday, February 9th. For some of you, that doesn't mean much. However, for many of you, this is the day you were supposed to be getting a foot or more of snow. Instead, take a look around to what we enjoyed, high 50s and sunshine this afternoon. You know, we all see those weather model maps from our local meteorologists that come out on social media, but are those long range forecasts really accurate? We've been investigating. Our chief meteorologist Ben Pine is here to verify. Can we trust those snowfall maps? A lot of people got worried about this, Ben. Yeah, Doug, and I wanted to do this verify story because it directly impacts me, our weather team and our profession, and it's all because of this map right here. Take a look. More than two weeks ago, this snowfall map spread like wildfire on social media. It wasn't our forecast, by the way, but it was posted to Facebook by a local meteorologist. The map was posted on Wednesday, January 24th, two and a half weeks ago, with a description of 12 to 15 inches of snow for Friday, February 9th. That's today. Not long after this long-range weather model data was posted, I get this text from a friend. Okay, seriously, I am leaving for Key West February 8th. Is there really a snowstorm coming that week? Please tell me no. This is just one of many comments and questions we got regarding a February 9th snowstorm, and it didn't stop. Even a week later, I get this comment on Facebook. What about February 9th? I said, what about it? Any snow that week? There was talk of a big snow then, double digits here. Well, we never talked about snow then. The viewer says, sorry, it must have been someone else. I saw it on Facebook. So our verify question, should professional meteorologists post long range weather model data? And is that data accurate? I personally believe that we shouldn't post it and we didn't. But for help with these questions, we brought in the head of our Louisville National Weather Service office, John Gordon. So John, should professional meteorologists post long range snowfall maps on social media? No, I mean, the thing is models show trends. That's what we should be doing, not specifics. I could not believe what happened last time. 15 inches day eight, that is not going to happen in all probability. I think the models have improved, mm -hmm. but we are nowhere near the specificity that we need today. Second question, is that long range weather model data usually accurate? No, it is not. There's usually, that system probably will evolve, but it may be three days earlier, three days late, 100 miles north, 100 miles south. You know, watch the trends. Watch the trends, not the specifics. And be responsible. And be responsible and do not cause unnecessary panic. So we can verify tonight that the long range forecast predicted by that model from January 24th was wrong. Yes, today is 50s and sunshine. Is all long range weather model data inaccurate? Yes, most of the time it is unreliable. And we have shown you here how it falsely raised concerns and needlessly worried people to the point they were trying to change plans in advance. And in the end, showing you data suggesting a major snowstorm two weeks out based on this long range weather model data does not serve you. And as we are proving in this case tonight was flat out wrong here, Doug. And we're going to talk more about this and discuss it on our WHS 11 News Facebook page at 645 this evening, not too long from now with our Facebook Live if you have any questions. Well, it causes people to rush to the supermarket. I do have a question <laughs> for you, though. Yeah. Since it was a long, was it trying to tell us something, though, because Chicago just three hours to the north is getting whacked today with snow. Ben. Uh, I'll tell you what. So was it just off? Data passed uh, five or seven days like we were talking with our, the head of the, the local National Weather Service, John Gordon, really just flip a coin. So it's not worth trying to give out the earliest forecast at the expense of accuracy. I agree and good for you for holding off on it.